4 is the busiest time on Amazon. Everyone's rushing to buy all their things just in time for Christmas, and traffic is increased. In fact, in December, it can reach up to three times the normal traffic, which means you have the potential to get three times more sales. But before you can take advantage of this traffic, there's three things you need to optimize to give you the highest chance of success. Number one, indexing. If you're indexed for a keyword, it means Amazon associates your book with that keyword. That's when you can show up for it in the search results. Now, before Q4, I like to add some seasonal keywords to my book's listing. This means my A plus content text, my back end keywords, and my description. Now, seasonal keywords are keywords that people only search for it during the holidays. So, Easter book for kids would be a seasonal keyword because people are only searching for Easter books during Easter. The same applies for Christmas, same applies for summer, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day. These are all seasonal keywords. Now, during Q4, a lot of people like to search keywords with the word gift in it. So, if you're setting a gardening book for women, a good keyword to be indexed for would be gift for gardeners or gift for women gardeners something like that now once i find all the seasonal keywords that are associated with my book i sprinkle them all over my listing this will make sure amazon picks them up number two click through rate so you already made sure that your book shows up in front of the correct customers by indexing for the correct keywords but no one's going to buy your book unless they click on it first which is why you need to make sure that your click through rate is as high as possible now if you don't know what a click through rate is this is a percentage of people that actually click on your book after it pops up on their screen. So if you're selling a dinosaur book for kids and someone searches dinosaur book for kids and your book shows up on their screen, then perfect. You just got something called an impression. An impression is simply your book popping up on someone's screen. But if you get 100 impressions and 10 clicks, it means 100 people saw your book, but only 10 of them clicked on it, which means your click through rate is 10%. Now to be more realistic, the average click through rate on Amazon is around 0.5%. So anything above that is really good. Now there's two really effective ways to increase your click through rate. The first one is by increasing increasing your reviews, people automatically click on books with high review counts. So if all your competitors have 120 reviews and your book has 12, your click through rate is not going to be as high. But if your book has 100 reviews and all your competitors have 20 reviews, your click through rate is going to be much higher. If you want to increase your reviews, you can go on websites like Pubby and Booksprout, which will help you gather more reviews for your books. Now, the second way you can increase your click through rate is by adjusting your cover. Your cover needs to be the most attention grabbing thing on the page. When people search dinosaur book for kids, they're going to scroll on page one and look at all the covers and they're going to think, hmm, which one looks the best? And then they're going to click on that one. You need to make sure your one is the best. Your cover needs to be so attention grabbing that it's not even an option to click on anyone else's cover. I'm not going to explain in this video how to make an effective book cover, but I'll make sure to do that in the future. Now that you got the click, it's time to move on to number three, which is your conversion rate. Your conversion rate is the percentage of people that actually buy your book after clicking on it. So if 100 people clicked on your book and 10 people bought, your conversion rate is 10%. Now there's a lot of ways to increase your conversion rate and it's important that you do every single one of these because your conversion rate is the most important part of your whole listing. The higher your conversion rate, the higher your ranking and the higher your ranking, the more exposure you get. The more exposure, the more clicks, the more sales, the more reviews and it just snowballs and snowballs until you're rich. So concentrate on your conversion rate. And the first way to increase it is by increasing your reviews. The good thing is you already did this with your click through rate. So you're already a step ahead. Now, the reason reviews are so important is because I've tested this myself and the exact same book had a giant increase in conversion rate as soon as I went from 20 reviews to 80 reviews. Obviously, it took a while to get there, but having more reviews works from zero reviews to one review, which is kind of obvious because you go from zero social proof to having at least one review. The next milestones are three reviews, 12 reviews, 22 reviews, over 50, and then 100. After 100, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Personally, I've never published a book over a thousand reviews so i don't know how a thousand reviews converts but i'm guessing pretty well now the second way to increase your conversion rate is by having really high converting a plus content a plus content are images graphics and text that show up under your book's description and above your reviews now in your a plus content you can actually fit five modules and i always use all five modules i like to take up as much digital real estate as possible but with my a plus content i focus on large visually appealing images if it's a coloring book i like to show off the pages inside if it's a non fiction book, I like to show off the value and the lessons inside. When a customer sees A plus content, they automatically trust your book a tiny bit more. First of all, you look 10 times more professional because you actually put in the effort to advertise your book and customers notice this. Now, A plus content isn't just for showing off your book. You can actually put text in and you can sprinkle some keywords in there for more indexing. Now, the third way to increase your conversion rate isn't really up to you, but when it does happen, it really helps you out. And it's when your customers leave images and videos with their reviews. When a customer goes down to look at the reviews on your book when they see an image or a video of your book it kind of 
brings it to life. It doesn't make it seem just like an Amazon listing. And this affects your conversion rate in a good way. Now, before you go to another video, I've got a bonus tip for you. And that's to add a QR code at the end of your book. This QR code will take your customers to a landing page. And here you can promise them something for free or they can participate in a contest or something like that as long as they leave their email. Since traffic is going to increase during Q4, your customers are going to increase, which means people going on your landing page are going to increase, which means your email subscribers increase. And the more email subscribers you have, the more you can connect with your customers. You can then notify these subscribers for any new releases or for them to leave reviews. And the best part is, you know that these customers are going to buy again because they already bought from you once. As long as your book was good, they'll come back for more. So to quickly recap, you want to make sure you're indexed for the correct keywords. Make sure you show up for the most relevant search terms for your book during the Christmas holidays. Then you want to optimize your click-through rate. You can do this by increasing your reviews or make it a better cover. Finally, you want to make sure your conversion rate is really high. You can do this by increasing your reviews and adding really high quality A plus content.